President Donald Trump apparently want to decertify Iran compliance to the Iran nuclear deal. So the Washington Post report. Trump plans to declare that Iran nuclear deal is not in the national interest. President Trump is expected to announce next week that he will decertify the international nuclear deal with Iran, saying it is not in the national interest of the United States and kicking the issue to a ruling tent Congress, people briefed on the White House strategy said Thursday. The move will mark the first step in a process that could eventually result in the resumption of U.S. sanctions against Iran, potentially derailing a deal limiting Iran nuclear activity reaching in 2015 with the United States and five other nations. Trump is expected to deliver a speech tentatively scheduled for October 12, laying out a larger strategy for confronting the nation he blamed for terrorism and instability throughout the Middle East. The problem is that Iran is certifying to the deal. The IIEA, the nuclear scientific that work for the United Nations, certified that Iran is complying to the deal. Donald Trump already certified that Iran is complying to the deal two times and this time it, it will decertify. The people in his administration that wanted to certify the deal is James Mattis, the Secretary of Defense, and also Rex Tillerson, the Secretary of State. I think that's a bad news because the Iranian president is a moderate. He spent uh, months and months to have this deal. It was one of his main promise campaign. He also said that uh, he wanted to improve the right of Women in his country because they have uh, not as much right as the men. His main campaign promises was to have the nuclear deal because it could leave the sanctions that have a huge impact on his economy. So what would happen if Iran decided to restart their nuclear program? Because that's what would happen if the Congress reimposed sanctions against Iran. If the diplomatic option fails and the other solution is war, the United States or Israel will have to target Iranian nuclear sites and they are underground and then we will have a all-out war against Iran because if you attack Iran, Iran will attack you back. They are not a isolated country like Iraq was before the US invasion. No, they have friends in the Middle East, they have a government and militia that will help him in case of war. And if we have a war against Iran, I think it will be a quagmire. So why the United States and Israel is against the Iran nuclear deal? Because Iran is living up to the deal. The reason is that the United States and the state of Israel want war against Iran. Iran and the U.S. relations have been uh, really bad since the beginning of the revolution in Iran in 1979 when um, the star of Iran flee the country and the new leader Khomeini take power. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, the nuclear related. They just want regime change because the Iranian and the United States support different sides, by example, uh, Iran supports um, Hezbollah and the United States supports the state of Israel and Israel is fighting against Hezbollah and uh, we have the same thing in Iraq. Iran, the government is supporting the Shia militia and the United States is supporting the Iraqi government, so that's very complicated. also have the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia that is really dislike the Iranian government because uh, they they oppose each other in different civil war in the Middle East. By example, the the Iranian government supports the Syrian government in Syria against the rebel, and meanwhile the Saudi Arabia supports the rebel against the Syrian government. That's the same thing in Yemen, except that is the uh, inverse. Iran supports the rebel 
and uh, the Saudi Arabia supports the government. And same thing in Iraq. Iranians support the Shia militia and Saudi Arabia supports the Sunni militia. I really think the United States will go to war against Iran because uh, Saudi Arabia and the state of Israel are not able to defeat Iranian alone so they will need to the United States involved too and also Trump first foreign trip he went to Saudi Arabia and he attacked Iran saying that they destabilized the Middle East and he denounced the Iranian action in the Middle East. I do not like the Iranian government but I think that I don't want to go to war against them. I don't like that they support the terror group Hezbollah in Lebanon and their goal is to uh, destroy the state of Israel. I don't like that they always threaten to uh, destroy Iran. And by the way, also, um, Israel also threatened to attack Iran. So, But I think we need to keep the Iran nuclear deal because uh, we can have better relations with Iran and we, we can fight ISIS together. I mean, we have the same enemy and we all want to destroy ISIS.